takes you into his life. He lives in a damp room under the stairs, making weird noises and eating moldy sandwiches. He leaves strange messages for you on bits of paper over the house, long scrolls and scratches, telling secret information, archaic engravings and marks on the door. He's paying no rent, yet he's getting the best of what we can afford. The cat won't go near the stairs. The dog barks and barks in fear. He's scared off all the birds. He's cleared me out of rats. Long scrolls and scratches, telling secret information, archaic engravings and marks on the wall.
and at night, a ghost detects her. She wipes a tear from her face into grooves of his name and steps away. Her clothes smell of it. It's in the woman's eyes. It's in the bottom of those bottles he always drank from to turn his mind down. My mind's down in silence. My head ah, he is. My head ah, he is. His head ah, he run stood. His run stalled on the ship for a season, deep a heading dawn. The season was in great progress, and in mid circle reveals. Head ah, he knew, and with great pity, its complex piss at sea.
Just coming around by Folkestone Harbour now. For some reason, the security guard in the dome was giving me suspicious looks. Oh, 
to fill her heart with bird and bush. She's giving it all right back. They're walking nearer the house where the elk link left its tracks. She's showing him where to start digging. It's showing the strain round the back. They're pushing their weight into the dirt, peering down to see what's going on. What is going on? What is going back? Mind. Blocks. Crack. Seven days after the seventh night, the blue crystal message found scratched on the inside of the bell, dripped out and took the shape of a boy, stood to his feet so his words could clang, my mind. Thanks.